Ancient Egypt is a fascinating place with a rich and fascinating history. Home to the pyramids, the Sphinx, and literally loads of sand, arguably too much sand, Egypt is a beautiful country unlike any other. But due to its complex past, there are a lot of secrets buried in Egypt's history, and because of that, many intriguing things have been unearthed. These are the most mysterious discoveries made in Egypt. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 15. Statues of Sekhmet with the discovery of eight imposing statues of the Egyptian lioness goddess Sekhmet discovered last year, archaeologists have enjoyed a further flurry of new finds at the same site, including at least 27 fragmented statues of the lioness. Archaeologists also claim that these statues contain some sort of mummified body inside, which makes things even more mysterious. Forming part of the King Amenhotep III Temple Conservation Project, with excavation carried out by the Joint Egyptian-European Archaeological mission, these latest finds reach a maximum height of 1.9 meters, or 6.2 feet, with some depicting Sekhmet seated on her throne with the symbol of life held in her left hand. Others have described the ancient Egyptian goddess as standing with a scepter against her chest, crowned with a sun disk, accompanied by a stylized, upright form of an Egyptian cobra adorning her forehead. This is common among royalty and symbolizes sovereignty, deity, and divine authority in ancient Egypt. A good portion of these most recent finds were discovered intact, particularly the statues that were found buried not far from the Earth's surface, effectively preserving them. Made from a solid black granite material, their craftsmen is impressive, with the passage of time barely obvious in these ancient artifacts. In the past 19 years, archaeologists have salvaged around 287 Sekhmet statues from the same site, which only adds to the speculation that the Temple of Amenhotep III was a massive structure. In fact, some believe that more than 730 statues were crafted, with French Egyptologist Jean Yoyot convinced the statues were part of a ritual to pacify the goddess. Now it's time for the odd topic. When digging in a field, you would never expect to stumble upon a gigantic eyeball, but if this photo can be trusted, that is exactly what happened in Egypt. Archaeologists are always embarking on digs in Egypt in the hopes of finding something cool from the ancient times. And it seems they stumbled upon something truly odd. This photo was taken by a woman who claims to have been on a dig that found this gigantic stone eyeball. It presumably was once part of a far larger statue of a giant creature, not exactly uncommon in ancient Egypt. But what makes it so curious is why did the ancient Egyptians bury it and what happened to the rest of the statue? As always, comment down below with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Great Pyramid Secret Room Using muon radiography, scientists have discovered a large opening in Khufu's pyramid, or Egypt's Great Pyramid as it is also known. A previously undetected opening within the massive structure, it was found due to scientific advances in cosmic ray collisions. With a cross-section likened to that of the Grand Gallery, the major corridor running through the pyramid, the cavity is thought to measure at least 100 feet long dating back thousands of years and listed as one of the last seven wonders of the ancient world, the Great Pyramid continues to fascinate scientists and archaeologists with its untold secrets. In fact, much about the Great Pyramid, thought to have been erected around 2500 BC, remains a mystery. Constructed of approximately 2.3 million limestone bricks, covering around 5.2 hectares and originally standing 146 meters tall, the pyramid would have once been an imposing site, one that Egyptologists are keen to examine further. The Egyptian Ministry of Antiques assembled an international team of researchers back in 2015 to study the ancient structure and others using non-invasive technologies. Labeled the Scan Pyramids Project, this team of researchers were responsible for finding the 100-foot-long cavity, or Big Void as it was labeled. An exciting and rare find for the team, it's said to be the first discovery of a chamber inside the pyramid since the 1800s. Number 13. Serapium of Saqqara 
Originally known as the Apis Bull Tombs and weighing in at more than 100 tons, the Serapium was where ancient Egyptians are known to have mummified and buried bulls. Buried in vaulted tombs or boxes resembling the coffins of today, the bulls were draped in jewels as a sign of respect to the gods Osiris, Apis, Ta, and later Serapis, who was a combination of Osiris and Apis. Precisely engineered to withstand tolerances considered remarkable for their era, the tombs were created from solid Aswan granite and were discovered buried in a hillside cave 12 miles south of the Great Pyramid of Giza. It's been said that the stone cutting obvious throughout these tombs is so accurate that their legitimacy has been called into question, with doubters questioning whether they are the work of Egyptian pharaohs. One expert even suggested they were left on earth by aliens and the king simply passed them off as their own. Restoration of these burial sites is a long and arduous task with the Serapium project taking almost three decades and the first of many across Egypt that it is hoped will entice tourists. Number 12, Electromagnetic Energy at Pyramid. A treasure trove of history and the land of pharaohs and pyramids, Egypt has been fascinating mankind for thousands of years. With many thousands of secrets buried beneath the golden sands, Egypt acts as a time castle that tells of the rise and fall of a people capable of constructing some of the most impressive structures of all time. The behemoth Great Pyramid of Giza is just one of these structures. Built around 4500 BC, the pyramid has been met with both admiration and fascination fascination for thousands of years, with visitors coming from far and wide to capture it in all its ancient glory. And in a surprise twist, there's even more to the Great Pyramid than meets the eye, with scientists discovering it can concentrate electromagnetic energy inside its chambers and well beneath its base. The discovery, made in 2018, found that under certain conditions, the pyramid can create electromagnetic energy, with research groups planning to use these findings to design nanoparticles capable of reproducing similar effects for practical application. So, despite being studied for centuries, mysteries surrounding these magnificent structures continue to be uncovered. Makes you wonder what researchers will find next. Number 11, Oxyrhynchus papyri. Archaeologists Bernard Grenfell and Arthur Hunt discovered over 500,000 papyri fragments between 1896 and 1907. Likened to thick paper and thought to be used as a writing surface throughout this time, the fragments dated back around 1,800 years and were found in the ruins of Oxyrhynchus. A sizable ancient town, Oxyrhynchus is situated in southern Egypt and has a climate that provides the ideal growing conditions for papyri, with some used by residents known to have survived nearly two million years. Today, many of the papyri, which include Christian gospels and magical spells, are owned by the United Kingdom's Egypt Exploration Society. They are under lock and key at the University of Oxford, with many scholars known to have analyzed and translated them over the years. Due to the sheer size of the collection, over 500,000 fragments, many remain unpublished. The texts, which are thought to date from the 3rd century BC to the 7th century AD, are written in Greek, Ancient Egyptian, Coptic, Latin, Arabic, Hebrew, Aramaic, Syriac, and Pahlavi. Number 10, Pyramid Town at Giza. Researchers uncovered the remains of a mansion with at least 21 rooms, likely to have been inhabited by high-ranking officials over 4,500 years ago. Situated close to Egypt's Giza pyramids, the large house is thought to be a part of a city that archaeologists were excavating. Along with the house discovery were the gruesome remains of several animals found in a mound nearby. These remains included leopard teeth, hind limbs of cattle, sheep and goat bones, and were found with seals of senior officials officials alongside them, suggesting the home's residents ate and dressed like royalty. These discoveries and others, including a barracks for soldiers and a port for importing goods, provide a fascinating view of the people responsible for building the pyramids, where they lived, and how they were fed. The Giza Pyramid Complex contains three large pyramids and is set on the edge of the western desert, just five miles west of the Nile River and about eight miles from Cairo's city center. The complex includes the Great Pyramid of Giza, built 
for Pharaoh Khufu, the Pyramid of Khafre, and the Pyramid of Menkare, their associated pyramid complexes, and the monstrous Great Sphinx of Giza, a statue of part lion, part human appearance. There are also several cemeteries and the remains of a worker's village on the site, a site that, for the general public at least, commands both a sense of wonder and respect. Number 9. Tomb KV-5 in 1995, excavations at KV-5 uncovered the tomb that was used to bury the sons of Pharaoh Ramesses II, who reigned between 1279 and 1213 BC. The little studied rock-cut tomb has been found to be the largest ever constructed in the Valley of Kings, with archaeologists finding 121 corridors and chambers inside. This number is expected to escalate further to more than 150, with at least six royal sons thought to have been interred there. Within the walls of KV-5, more than 20 representations of these suns have been carved on the walls, adding further speculation to the notion that many more suns may be interred there. In fact, there could be as many as 52. Located just 70 meters from the tomb of Tutankhamun, whose treasures are remembered for being part of one of the greatest discoveries in Egypt, KV-5's location remained elusive for over a century. Although its existence was known, many attempts to locate it failed, until Kent's admission in May of 1995 that he had found what could be the largest tomb ever found in Egypt. Number 8. The Silver King Archaeologist Pierre Montet discovered the tomb of Susens I back in 1939. A pharaoh who is said to have ruled over Egypt around 3,000 years ago from 1036 to 989 BCE, Susens I was buried in a silver coffin and laid to rest with a highly refined gold burial mask adorning his head. Located in Tanis, a city on the Nile Delta, his burial chamber was first discovered at the beginning of the Second World War. However, due to unfortunate timing, it received very little media attention. Due to the Delta's humidity, several items found in the tomb were unable to be saved. Shabti figurines meant to serve the king in the afterlife, and canopic jars which held Susen's organs were well preserved and able to be removed from the grave. Considered one of the most underrated finds, primarily due to its timing rather than lack of interest, the tomb was found to include many treasures, mostly fashioned from gold. The kings and pharaohs of the time were said to surround themselves with treasures upon death in the hope of receiving receiving the gift of eternal life. Number 7. Pyramid Age Papyri First manufactured in Egypt as far back as the 4th millennium BCE, papyri resemble thick paper and were utilized as one of the earliest forms of writing paper. Archaeological evidence of their existence wasn't unearthed until late 2012, early 2013, with a team led by Pierre Talet and Gregory Marouard announcing their discovery at an ancient Egyptian port located on the Red Sea coast. The port was said to have been built around 4,500 years prior during the reign of the pharaoh Khufu. In information contained in the papyri alluded to the construction of the largest pyramid ever, the Great Pyramid of Giza. The papyri, which was written in a two-column daily timetable, noted that the limestone used in the outer casing of the pyramid was sourced and shipped from a quarry at Tura on the opposite bank of the Nile River. The boat trip along the Nile River from Tura to Giza was said to have taken between two and three days. There were also notes on the daily lives of the pyramid's construction workers. Considered Egypt's oldest papyrus fragments, the detailed notes of the Great Pyramid's construction are now on display in Cairo. Number 6. The Saqqara Bird Considered an out-of-place artifact, or ooh part, the Saqqara Glider, a bird-shaped artifact, was found at the end of the 19th century. This artifact was among several objects found in a Saqqara tomb, probably dating back to 200 BC. Although a controversial find, the Saqqara Glider is very interesting and holds an element of historical significance, helping archaeologists to understand the extent of ancient advanced technology. The artifact, which is now exhibited at the Egyptian Museum of Cairo, is made of sycamore more maple wood, a wood that is linked to the goddess Hathor and said to be the symbol of immortality. It measures about 14 centimeters long, has a wingspan of 18 centimeters, and resembles a glider but with bird-like features similar to that of a hawk, the emblem of the god Horus. The Saqqara has no feet and is estimated to be about 2,200 years old. The fact that the artifact has no feet has added further fuel to the speculation that the ancient Egyptians may have had the technology and understanding of aero dynamics. Glider designer Martin Gregory built a similar model in 2002. He found its glide performance disappointing and suggested
suggested the bird was more than likely made as a child's toy or weather vane. However, aerodynamics expert Simon Sanderson also built a replica and tested it in a wind tunnel where he found it produced four times the glider's own weight in lift. From there, he took it to Liverpool University, subjecting it to a flight simulator. A stabilizing tailplane, thought to be missing from the Sakara, was added, and the bird was said to fly quite well. Number 5. Pyramid Mystery Construction What can only be described as one of the biggest mysteries of all time may have been solved. In fact, the answer to a mystery that is said to have confused mankind for thousands of years may have been found purely by accident. A combined team of archaeologists may have the answer to the age-old question that has been known to dance upon the lips of many historians. How did the ancient Egyptians manage to build the impossibly large pyramids? Following a chance discovery by the team who were researching hieroglyphs, an ancient writing system, at Hatnub Alabaster Quarry, an intriguing breakthrough was made. They had stumbled across a ramp and stairs by several holes, holes that resembled post holes. These post holes, the historians believe, provide a whole new theory about how the ancient Egyptians were able to build such impressive structures with the aid of very limited technology. This find lends further weight to the theory that the Egyptians used pulley systems to push and pull the giant blocks of stone with greater speed. Number 4. Early Mummification a traditional practice that was said to have started in the Old Kingdom period around 2500 BC, mummification is now believed to have been the standard form of embalming for at least 1,500 years or longer. Chemical analysis of a fully intact mummy found in one of the oldest recorded Egyptian cemeteries has the practice dating back centuries beyond the original unification of Egypt in 3100 BC. Egyptologists first theorized that mummies of its type had experienced a natural mummification, with their soft tissue organically preserved due to the hot environment. This theory was proven inaccurate when chemical archaeologist Stephen Buckley revealed signs that the mummy had in fact been embalmed and its preservation was no accident of nature. Buckley and his colleagues found traces of an embalming recipe on the funerary fibers, which included animal oils, aromatic plant extracts, plant gum, and pine resin, almost an exact replica of the ingredients found to be used in embalming practices 3,000 years later by King Tut's priests. The find was also found to be an exact match of funerary fibers dating from 4300 BC that Buckley was able to examine in 2014. Number 3. Wooden Coffins, Egypt with colored coffins considered a trendy new idea, it comes as a surprise that the concept has been around for thousands of years, with the discovery by Egyptian archaeologists of 30 colored wooden coffins with mummies inside. Found at al Asif Cemetery on Luxor's West Bank, the Ministry of Antiques Khaled el Aneni said that the coffin discovery was the largest find of its kind since the end of the 19th century and the first by an Egyptian mission after years of foreign-led archaeological digs. Described as in a good condition of preservation, the colorful coffins were intricately carved with inscriptions housing the mummified remains of men and women as well as two children. Considered to be approximately 3,000 years old, the mummies were found completely wrapped in cloth with their gender identified only by the shape of the hands on the coffin. Open hands carved on a coffin meant they were female, while hands balled into fists indicated male remains. The news of their discovery comes at the same time as the opening of of the ancient Egyptian artisan Senegem sarcophagus and that of his wife, whose remains have been unpacked and fumigated prior to their intended restoration. Number 2. Meteoric Jewelry Jewelry forged from the hearts of meteorites gives new meaning to the statement out of this world. Innocently used by ancient Egyptians to create handmade beads by hammering and rolling meteorite metal, the jewelry was found in separate tombs of two teenage boys in the one cemetery in 1911. Considered one of the oldest iron artifacts on the planet, the discovery shows that humans may have begun working with iron from outer space long before finding a source here on Earth. The tiny meteorite beads were primarily used for necklaces and sat alongside other fine materials like gold and agate, adorning the necks of the style-conscious Egyptians who could afford them. Following their excavation, the beads and accompanying stones, originally part of an elaborate necklace, found their way to UCL's Petrie Museum, where studies confirmed their composition. Number 1. Plague of Cyprian 
A mysterious plague was responsible for the deaths of at least 5,000 people around the 3rd century AD. Known as the Plague of Cyprian, the pandemic was discovered between 1997 and 2012 when the great city of Luxor was being excavated. A group of archaeologists were working at a funerary site in ancient Thebes when they made several horrific discoveries. They unearthed a number of lime-covered bodies, with lime historically used as a disinfectant, and a giant bonfire containing human remains where plague victims were thought to have been incinerated. Described as a dreadful plague that brought the Roman Empire to its knees, the disease invaded every house from AD 250 onwards, and may have lasted nearly 20 years. Contributing to the rapid spread of death and disease was the constant warfare confronting the Empire, and long periods of drought, floods, and famine. But the news wasn't all bad, as the plague's discovery made a positive impact on the world's medical field, forming the basis for further studies on certain diseases, including Ebola. In fact, each revelation contributed greatly to significant advances in modern medicine. Providing archaeologists and historians with an endless supply of historical treasures to research and examine, ancient Egypt is simply fascinating. With the remnants of a civilization like no other laying beneath its sands, it's little wonder it captivates audiences from near and far every year. One day, you might be part of that audience. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!